This is a Anything Goes podcast production. <laughs> all right, all right. We are back, you guys, with another episode of the Journey of a Soul Sister podcast. Yes, like I always say, some will be audio, some will be visual. It just depends on how I'm feeling today, right? So today, oh my gosh, you guys. <laughs> I'm really nervous. I'm around this guy a lot, actually. And now I get to interview him. He interviewed me, but now I get to interview him. Uh, so today, this wonderful guy from New York up top, I keep trying to tell y'all, I think I'm probably really from there in another life. I'm just not sure yet. His name is Gillionaire slash G. He's from the Music, Life, and Love podcast. And we're actually underneath the same umbrella. Mm -hmm. So a fellow podcaster interviewing another podcaster. So now he in the hot seat. You go ahead and hand out your little Instagram handles and things like that. Okay, okay. Yo, first of all, I appreciate you having me over here. You know what I'm saying? Um, <laughs> <laughs> I, I like this you know what i mean um g lives you know what i'm saying you can catch me on g lives uh music life and love first first of all you know um, mll podcast and on instagram and uh music life and love on um music life and love on youtube as well too mm -hmm. tiktok as well too um catch me on ig my personal page is um g lives g l y v e s official g lives official and um yeah i'm, I'm glad i'm here I am glad that you're here as well. Mm -hmm. So why are you in Baltimore? Why am I Baltimore? Yes, because you're from New York. Yeah. Could you tell them exactly where you're from or you want to keep that off camera? I mean, nah, I can tell them exactly where I'm from. Okay. I'm born and raised in New York. You know what I'm uh -huh. saying? I'm Queens, New York. You know what I'm saying? Queens in get the Queens. money. Yeah. Dollar, dollar bills, y'all. Mm -hmm. You already know. You already know. You know what I'm saying? The biggest borough in New York. Um, I came out here because uh, I needed a change. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm on my journey, just like everybody mm. else is. Mm -hmm. So, you know what I'm saying? So, I feel like uh, this was the place to be. My brother was already here. And when I say my brother, I'm talking about M. Soto. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, he was here. So, um, yeah, I, I, I needed to be here, to be honest with you, to assist in whatever journey I'm, I'm, go I'm going through right now. You know? Okay. Yeah. So, you know, in our journeys, there's different paths that we take, right? Mm -hmm. So, your path leading up to coming here for the change. Yeah. Could you give us a little backstory why you felt like you needed that change? Like, how was your journey going from, like, like you said, born and raised from Queens, mm -hmm. and then all of a sudden you come down here and mess with us, you know, slash <laughs> country, city. We don't know what we are, right? right, right. Baltimore people. So mm -hmm. give us a little backstory as far as the journey. Well, I'm going to say, I'm going to tell you, 2018 was a big change for me. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? I, I actually changed uh, my diet. Mm. Uh, I, went, I went vegan for a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Told y'all, y'all need yeah. to eat clean. I, yeah. I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> okay, go on. <laughs> I went vegan for a little bit, um, broke up with my ex. Um, yeah, I left my job in 2018 so everything changed in 2018 2019 I lost my mom I'm sorry. you know what I'm saying so um so after that I, I I needed a I needed to get away from New York you know what I'm saying so it just it was more so for me to um find myself in a different way a different light mm. so yeah um, okay. I mean, I, I'm I'm glad I'm here though. I'm be honest with you. I'm glad you're yeah. here too. I'm really excited Appreciate that I that. met you. Appreciate From the first day I met, I was like, oh, he's cool as though, but you're mm -hmm. real quiet and laid back. So I was Th like, everything a, he does is calculated. That's though. a that's a Queens thing, you know. It's I mean? a Queens like, thing. Yeah, I feel like with everybody that's from Queens is just basically laid back. But um, I, I, that's just my character, you know. what I mean, I'm I'm Capricorn, so I knew that. Yeah, I knew tell? that. I definitely knew that. And everything mm -hmm. you do, you're always thinking. And you yeah. are always over analyzing something, mm -hmm. and it's calculated. That's that could that's my problem though. I'll be honest with you. That you could, think that's your problem? It 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 hurts me and helps me at the same time. Mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, um, but uh, overall, you know, I am who I am, right? Yeah. <laughs> so when you chose to go vegan, right? Mm -hmm. What did it do for you? Uh, it awakening. Mm. It was a major awakening, I should say. You know so what, what started or what started awakening? What started opening for you? Well, I, well, I, I should say that the fact that I'm not no longer vegan all mm -hmm. the way anymore, like I, like I used to be. But um, but when I did start it for for the four years, um, what started it? Um, you said what started it, right? Mm -hmm. um, what started it was just basically just a, like I said, another change. Um, I left pork, stopped eating pork when I was 16. Um, I always wanted to stop eating meat. I'm not really a steak person, um, so. It was actually not really a bad transition for, uh, you know, a lot of people have trouble 
um, starting new diets mm-hmm. for me wasn't really too bad. Of course, you're gonna get the withdrawals and the headaches. You know everything. You know you're gonna experience all like your that. Body your body, yeah, your body's going through that change. But mm-hmm. overall, I mean, it it what started it was a ne- the necessary steps in order for me to find who I am. You know, mm-hmm. you get what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. And it was the be- the benefits of it is is it's incredible. So do you feel yeah. like you would ever go back? To being vegan, vegetarian, vegan, vegetarian. Yeah, definitely. I could go back. Yeah, for sure. Um, I dipped into eating chicken again um, and mm-hmm. fish, but oh, uh, I would go back, to be honest. It's it's actually a great diet, great lifestyle, you know, if you could maintain it. Because mm-hmm. you know, a lot of people say it's expensive, but it's not really too expensive. It's really not. Yeah. It's really not. You it's just, really you just got to do your, you know I mean, your due diligence as far as, you know, uh, accumulating some of the the knowledge of as far as what to, mm-hmm. what to, what to you eat. know I me, mean, what to eat, what not to eat, when to eat so on and so forth it's 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 a journey for sure and read what's in the, in the yeah, back of the yeah. stuff and that's the habit that i have yeah right? i have right? yeah i picked that habit up crazy because um i never used to look at the back of the like mm-hmm. to see what the ingredients was you know so um yeah that's one thing i've learned as well too just to make sure you read what you you know what you're putting into your body because your body is important we are carrying a machine here you get what i'm saying and a lot of people mm-hmm. don't realize we we destroy our machine by by the stuff that we eat, watch, listen to, mm. you know what I'm saying? Read, mm-hmm. everything, you know what I mean? All the people that's around you. Exactly. It's yeah. very important. Like, I always tell everyone, whoever I come in contact with, mm-hmm. your journey, your body is your temple. It says it in the Bible as well, if you go by that. But, again, if you're not on a spiritual level, they mm-hmm. definitely tell you to pay attention to what's around you, mm-hmm. what are you eating in the back of it. So, recently, I've been following this page called Surviving Vegan. Mm-hmm. Shout out to y'all. Okay. Um, and she, I saw what was noodles made out of. Right now, we all know us as <laughs> mm-hmm. Call it people. Mm-hmm. Oodles and noodles, a cup of noodles is something like, hey, mm-hmm. yeah. that's your quick go to. Most college people, that's how they survive that's off of noodles. Exactly. exactly. When I saw that video, mm-hmm. I can't erase it out of my mind. <laughs> I cannot erase it out of my mind. I'm like, we can't eat this anymore. <laughs> right, 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 right. There's a lot of things. She's very knowledgeable. I've been following her for for a couple of for several years. As a matter of fact, she is mm-hmm. actually knowledgeable. A lot of things. She put me onto a lot of things that I did not notice about the body. Mm-hmm. Certain things that was happening to, um, let's say for example, maybe like bumps that's in, in certain areas. Of, you right. Know, you know so yeah, your she, eyes, your eyes, and your everything. tongue. Mm-hmm. She said mm-hmm. the body. When well, we know that though, mm-hmm. if we pay attention, our body starts to tell us what's wrong with us mm-hmm. immediately. Right. Anyway, but we ignore it. We yeah. just be like. Ah. I'm going to eat this steak or, today. Or not knowledgeable of it. You that know, is true. Not, we, don't, we don't know exactly what's going on. We're just thinking it's just a reaction, but it's not. That's true. Mm-hmm. So you started to get your awakening. You're here mm-hmm. in Baltimore, and you're like, mm-hmm. okay, mm-hmm. these people here. What's a culture <laughs> shock for you when you came mm-hmm. here? Oh, yeah, definitely. It's still, it's still, <laughs> I, had to get, I, had, I had to get, first of all, I had to get used to the accent. I, you know, I, I don't have no accent. You ain't got no accent, right? No, nah, I ain't got no oh. accent. People, you got the accent. Of course, right? Yeah. For people that live in whatever city they live in, they're not going to notice the accent until they go somewhere else. Mm-hmm. Um, but um, I just had to get used to the accent. The driving is a little bit different. You know, I'm from New York. We, we quick with it. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Um, everything's laid back here. Everything's mm-hmm. laid back. Not too laid back, but a lot laid back um, more than, than New York. You know what I mean? So would you say you fell in love with Baltimore? Oh, yeah. 100%. Told y'all. So whoever <laughs> y'all need to come here, Baltimore is the place to be. I can keep telling y'all that. No, yeah, definitely. I second that for real. Now, nah, Baltimore, really? yeah, Baltimore definitely got that potential, and I feel like um, n- within the next ten years, it's it's gonna it's it's gonna go crazy. It's, it's it might be just as good as DC, to be honest with you. Yeah, you know what I mean, it got that feeling, and definitely. that's why it's so important for us. Like, we need to invest mm-hmm. the people that live here because you have people coming from all over investing here because they can see the big picture. Right. So my goal is to start showing people, hey. You need to see our own home, and we need to invest in our own home. Mm -hmm. They'd be like, oh, would you move away? Would you move away? I don't know yet. But Mm -hmm. if I did move away, I need to have something here. Right. Because this is home, right? This is your base. Mm -hmm. Um, But I'm glad that you did that. So you come here, you're culture shocked, you're quick with it. Let's go to why you parting. Why I parting? Yeah, why are you parting? Why are you doing podcasting? Why? Why am I parting? Yeah. Okay, okay. Got it. Got it. Got it. Oh, my accent threw him off. Yeah, you hear yeah, that? See what I'm, <laughs> I'm like, I thought you saw my party like the Red Sea no, or something. No, like no, no, no. We ain't getting into that. <laughs> um, 
I, I love it. You know what? We started doing pod and I'm I'm not gonna lie, my brother actually episode, like I said, this this that's my guy. Um he uh initiated the whole thing. Mm. You get what I'm saying? He was the one that was like, yo, we gotta start doing we gotta start potting, you know, we gotta start, you know, what I mean, just putting out information out there and, and it's cause it was interesting because we were watching Joe Buttons doing it. We was watching all these these other people doing it as well too. So um I didn't really think I really had anything to say until I started potting, to be honest with you. What? Yeah, I didn't really I didn't Got know, you. Man, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I didn't know what where where would I fit in and wh- who would be listening. You get what I'm mm-hmm. saying? But but it's actually this podcast is is a different it's a different beast. You get what I'm saying? So um yeah, we started in 2017, 16, 17. Um, we had a different name um and just been going on from there and now we music life and love. So how do you feel about your brand, Music Life and Love, right? Mm -hmm. Because, again, you guys can talk about multiple different topics. Mm -hmm. So I see you when you talk about a little bit about life, you be really stagnant to say certain things. I watch you. Mm -hmm. You'll throw like a curveball out there and then you'll come back and be like, yeah, I'm not talking too much about it. But your face starts to light up a little bit when you talk about these two topics that you have, which is love Mm -hmm. and also music. Right. Yeah. Why do you feel as though you light up like that? It feels like you have more to say and you talk more when you lead, especially into the music part. What about that? Tell me something about on your journey, why those things do that to you. I think I think with 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 those two, it's more so it's really open to whatever. You get what I'm saying? It's just endless. There's certain things you can't say as far as with with life or mm-hmm. whatever the case may be. But um, with um, music and life, it's just I, I just. I feel like it's a topic that everybody, you know, could express no matter what. I, I don't think there's any wrong answers when it comes to music. You get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So everybody got their own opinion. I, I agree with you on that one. So do you feel that music is telling a story? Do you think it's like someone's letting out their pain or taking you on a journey? Oh, yeah. Yeah, for sure. Definitely. You you could learn a lot from from listening to somebody, you know, saying whatever um, on their tracks and everything. You know, it's you can, everybody has something to say. And if you mm-hmm. pay attention closely, you would you can hear and feel exactly what they're saying and what they're expressing. So, so. would you say that's the same thing for party or podcasting? Oh, hundred mm-hmm. percent. I feel like with potting, you can act. You are in like therapy, right? You're, yes. you know what I mean. You're mm-hmm. releasing all that energy, and you're 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 expressing your feelings, you know, without anybody really saying too much to tell you, hey, listen, that's wrong or whatever. But overall, yeah, I, I feel like with potting, it's the same thing as. Um, you singing yeah with music definitely. okay so since we into the music bag mm-hmm. what are some of your genres that you listen to right so give me mm-hmm. your top we know hip-hop of course mm-hmm. but it might not be let me not say that because that's me judging right mm-hmm. because it might not be your number one go-to Uh-oh. so assuming now, you assuming? I'm a, i was assuming <laughs> it was but let me apologize mm-hmm. for that right, right because yeah. we instantly do that we see somebody yeah. i think i know you a little bit but of course i don't really know you because mm-hmm. we change every day mm-hmm. i would just assume hip-hop is your go-to right you're number one but tell us your genres of music anybody that knows me knows that i am r&b number one mm. number one is r&b, I'm R&B. like old school r&b old. 70s r&b 80s r&b come on now which r&b we're, we're talking we're talking from 70s to 90s Ooh. you know what i'm saying so i mean i favorite I, artists from the 70s damn yeah yeah <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, throw me in, yeah. You know, throw me in a bus yeah right i'm gonna now. throw you in there I, mean, I, I just love the music period like if i if I, isley brothers and all of them yeah i, okay. I, I could mess with good them. save good save <laughs> <laughs> Good you know they've been around a while. Yeah, yeah. So the Isley Brothers, you know, mean down to you know the Whispers and and all these other groups mm. and stuff like that. So I can actually deal with. I, I do the seventies, the eighties for sure. The nineties, obviously, you know, um, it, it's just endless. You know, what I mean, one of my favorite, one of my favorite um, R and B groups is One Twelve. You know, what I'm saying so. Yeah, I just you know what I, mean? I agree with you on that. Yeah. I don't think they get enough. Mm-hmm. Um, exposure that they used to have or credit that they deserve right because their last album like the one song on there called player i don't know if you know that song mm-hmm. on that last album that song is a hit yeah, but it was yeah. never a single it was a b-side track so it was like yeah yeah and for those who don't know b-side tracks i'll give you an example like uh trey songs um 
Panty Dropper is not a single. That's a B-side track. Okay. So people will think like, oh, this song was so hip. It's not the ones that they used to. So A-side is the songs they used to promote the to album. promote the album. The really good songs that never it comes a single is the B-side tracks. For those who don't know. Just want to let y'all know that. Mm-hmm. Um, Schooling them. I know a little something, right. something about music. It's a little right. something, okay. something. Okay, okay. Or whatever. Mm-hmm. But... Okay, so you said R and B, R and B, and then sure. what's next? Uh, definitely hip hop. You know, what I'm saying rapping all of that. Yeah, I, I, I fucks with with, with hip hop. Um, R and B, hip hop, everything else trickles down to you know, what I'm saying um, just just whatever whatever is good. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying if I like the music, I like the music. So I, country would be if 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 it catches me, I'm I don't listen to country. Don't get it twisted. I don't, wow. listen, to, I don't listen to country, but if it catches me, then you know, I mean, if it's I don't I'm not looking to put on a country song you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. but but if it's actually catchy if they're playing it and it gets that promotion and it's out there then i'll if it's good then i'll i'll play it i'm gonna send saying? you some country songs you're gonna really? like it yeah you're gonna like it you got, you got you got something for me? i got something in the bag now you got somebody my that, playlist you never know like what's gonna pop up you got somebody that you kind of listen to or you just it's just whatever it's just i just I listen know. to all types of songs mm-hmm. like i don't have a favorite country singer like i have a favorite r&b singer mm-hmm. but I got some favorite tracks. Okay, okay. And one of my karaoke songs is actually my number one go-to karaoke song. Is actually a country song. Mm. <laughs> mm. You ain't know that, and did nah, you? you? You shocking me now. <laughs> okay. It's more with the meets the eye. Okay, okay, okay. Cool. Oh, okay, cool. okay. Yeah, nah, but yeah, I, I, I listen to anything like Spanish music. Um, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Of course, you know. Um, a little bit of background of me, I'm Haitian. Mm-hmm. Um, if they throw a little compa in there, in there, so yeah, I definitely do that as well too. Too, you know what I'm saying? Anything. That's so funny. That's you know I mean? so funny. So, yeah. Yo, you know, throw, throw the music on. You know, G, yo, Gillionaire is dancing. I'm telling oh, you. Oh, I can't wait. Oh, I can't <laughs> wait. So, last mm-hmm. year, was it last year? Mm-hmm. Last summer? Last May? We went down to Miami. Okay. So, you know, the Haitian community. I went to uh, Haitian, this restaurant down there. Mm-hmm. So, I think it's called Little Haiti in Miami, yeah. if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Please, I'm sorry if I got it wrong. They actually had vegan Haitian food there. And we ate. And then my family, of course, has a Haitian background, but they never taught me how to do the dance, like Kumpa dancing. Mm. My first time learning it was in Miami. That's mm. some sexual stuff going oh. on, y'all. This it is. You got to be, oh, uh, mm-hmm. yeah. it's, mm-hmm. it's all in the <laughs> hips. And then you got to let the guy, like, lead. Ahead, and then you have me. to follow. Mm-hmm. They was all like, and my leg, his leg was in between my leg. And I was like, I don't know if this is sex right <laughs> now. But I liked it, right? And, and, it, and yeah, it's different, from, it's different from the 70s and 80s. That that dance is definitely 2020s. That's yeah, what it they is. are. They yeah. are. But they were getting busy. They had a good time. And everybody right. enjoyed it. So I just wanted to throw that out there because you mentioned it. it was mm-hmm. really, really funny. Okay, so again, you got music, life, and mm-hmm. then love. love. So that's what brings me to the topic today with you. Okay. Because I see your face. Like I told you, I watch. I'm a studier as well. Believe okay. it or not, I'm a Scorpio. That's just some of the things that we do. Okay. Same as Capricorn. Uh-huh. Absorbing and everything. Yes, like that. yes, yes, yes. Got you. You know, some people say we're a match made in heaven, but you never know. You think so? I know so. I really? click well with, oh my gosh, things don't even have to be said sometimes. Okay. You just understand, right? Mm-hmm. And I know that you're overthinking. And I'm kind of like bringing you back to reality. The mystery thing of me keeps Capricorns intrigued. And the fact that a Capricorn is always going to the next step and checking things off the list and right. always trying to make themselves better, that's what draws me in, you know? As far as the Scorpio structure. Okay. Because need that. Yeah. All right, so love. Yeah. Your face does light up when we talk about love. Love. Yeah. And yeah, laugh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Love. That brings me to my topic. Mm. Have you ever really been in love? All right. I gotta be careful how I answer uh-uh, this. you better answer this. All right, it's a me, journey. Come on me, now. Let me answer this. Uh no. Not fully. Not mm. the way that I would describe being in love. Okay, so for let's me. run that back then. Mm-hmm. Being in love. What does that look for look like to you, and what does that mean to you? Uh, being in love is just I I, I don't want to say unconditional. I don't you know that's too cliche. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying um, I, I don't just, believe unconditional love. Anymore. Uncondi- yeah, it's it's not unconditional. I say love is more so um, do for me, I do for you. I mean, actions really is love. You get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. It's it's really something that you can't really explain. It's just something that's there, and you know what it you know what it is when you feel it. Um, I can't explain it the way I would want to, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm more of a show in action. Mm-hmm. You know so I would rather, uh, 
you know, do things, you know, through action, you know what I'm saying? But at, love is, I don't know. It's, I don't, I've never experienced it. That's what I'm saying. I've never experienced it. So you love. never experienced being in love, but you Not had love, love for someone. Oh yeah, for sure. Definitely. So you believe those are two different things. Yeah, definitely. Being because in love. Because some people don't. Right. There is two different things. Uh-huh. Being, love you could love somebody. Anybody could love anybody. You're not. You could love your, your you know, I mean, your cousin, your brother, your sister, and so on and so forth. There's there's different types of love. Being in love, um, that's that's a whole new, a whole new journey right there. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? It's just it's just you actually doing more for yourself for, um. For yourself, you got to be in love with yourself first. All right, okay. that's what I'm talking about. So you we say understand. this all the time. Right. Got to be in love with self first. Got to be in love with yourself. All right, go first. on, go on. You talking yeah. my language? You talking yeah. my language? You know what I'm saying you got to be in love <laughs> with yourself first, and then you can actually express everything else is is effortless. You know, mm-hmm. what I mean? so um, in love is just it's just unexplainable. Okay, it's unexplainable. So when you say like actions, right? Mm-hmm. And you want to show somebody you love them through action. What are some examples so people can pay attention, right? Because sometimes, like you said, you can't really articulate it. Mm-hmm. However, I don't want you to misunderstand my action. So if you right. love someone, what are some examples for the future ladies that might want to fall in love with this man right here, right? Um, what are some ways that you would show someone that you love them? Well, in love with them. In love with them. All right. One of the ways you show that you are in love with them is show um giving them respect Mm -hmm. you get what i'm saying you respect their wishes you respect their their boundaries you get what i'm saying you're not disrespectful you 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 actually you know show them you uplift them each and every day you get what i'm saying in any kind of way so respect is definitely one trust is another one as well too you get what i'm saying so if you're in love with me then you have to trust me Mm -hmm. you get what i'm saying if i'm in love with you i have to trust you um it's just these things are just there's no price to them it's priceless Mm -hmm. so trust you know what i mean respect um honesty Mm -hmm. is definitely things that you actually show that you know that you're in love you know what i'm saying so if you're not showing that Mm -hmm. then there is no love there's no true love you know what i'm saying okay so do you believe that you can be in love with more than one person yes that is true you can't really yeah why do you say that because there's different ways of loving this pe- i can let's say for example i'm in love with you mm-hmm. there's another la- young lady next to you i could be in love with her but it, it, it doesn't have to be the same way i could be in love with her in a different type of way mm-hmm. i could show her you know because I mean? there's different love languages right there's certain yeah. love languages that uh i can express with her that i can't express with you mm-hmm. certain things that you i can express with you i can't express with her so you can definitely be in love and show basic basic um love language i mean basic love tactics and mm-hmm. so on and so forth but but there's you could be in love with two people and show them two different types of love okay it doesn't have to be the same so that brings me to my next part then that i'm going into as far as love mm-hmm. are you a one woman man mm. and be <laughs> honest <laughs> this is the journey of love, y'all. We, yeah. This is part of our journeys. We all go through this, right? Right. And everybody had a different opinion. So you already kind of know my stance. But first, let's get to your stance first. Because my stance is kind of iffy. <laughs> <laughs> it changes. A little bit. It, it changes with my feelings. It changes, right? <laughs> um, I can not I can be. I'm going to tell you this right now. I could be monogamous, monogamy. Mm-hmm. I practice monogamy. Um, I'm not... I don't take that off the table, mm-hmm. but I would prefer to be with two, two women. Why do you feel time. like to be with two? Why? Two Why is, not five? It's like no five. <laughs> <The> <laughs> I more, mean, hey, it could be. The more the merrier, right? <laughs> you know what I mean? But um, nah, two two is just, I think um, it it really depends on who I'm with. If, if that mm-hmm. person can't fulfill certain things, I can actually have another person that actually fulfill the other, the rest of the things that's missing from the first relationship. I think that's exactly what it boils down to. I'm all about building. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So, um, so two, two would be good for me. One, if that one person that, that actually could hold it down and could cover all aspects of my liking and so on and so forth, then, then I, I could rock with one. Well, what is yeah. some of them? What are some of your aspects and your liking <laughs> that one person may not be able to cover? Give us some example why you would seek two. Well, I would say, um, well, I like I like being around 
couple of people, you know what I mean? Two different mm-hmm. people. It's, that's just number one. It's just, it's just, I think it's just options for me. Um, mm-hmm. but, but more than anything, it's just, I feel like if that one person, it's just trust. And if I could find, that's what I'm saying. I could be with that one person if they fully trust me a hundred percent. Anything that's anything that, you know, that, that negates all of that, then uh, I would have a problem. So more, more than anything, trust got to be there. And I can actually, if I can't get it from this one, I can get it from the next one. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, too, if I'm not, if it's not fully there with that first one, then I don't think I can stay in a relationship that doesn't have that fully as well. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, so you believe one person can fulfill that whole thing? One person can. It, it, it can. It can be done. I mean, but we all know there's it's a lot. As far as us being us trying to be in a relationship, we still finding you know ourselves. Mm-hmm. So you know, certain things change. You know, if it's if we're in a relationship and anybody's willing to change alongside with it, then hey, great. You know what I'm saying? So it, it really it really depends. But I could I feel like I could definitely be with one, with one for okay, sure. Okay, two. But two, but two, two, two is my number though. <laughs> Y'all yeah. hear me keep telling him two. Yeah, yeah, two, two is my number. You hear me keep saying two. Okay, so. Now I'm going to flip the coin, right? Because, okay. you know, I rocks the table okay. all the time, especially conversations. We spoke about this before. Stop. All right. So you say two and you're saying you're explaining like, yeah, people can be in love with two and this other person can't fulfill this, but the other one can't. How do you feel when a female approaches that at the same way? Mm. Yeah. Mm. Uh uh-uh. Ain't no because mm-hmm. we're all human, right? We all have different emotions and other people do slack certain things. Right. I'm just saying. So you men do come short. Men can come short, but that doesn't mean I don't love you any less. Nah, nah. What do you mean? Nah, nah, there should be a law against that. Why? (laughs) Why? (laughs) Nah, that's the nah. Fight for that. Why? Uh, nah. Um, nah. I'm 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 fucking with you. You, uh, Anybody can do whatever they want. Be honest Mm -hmm. with you. Yeah. If you feel like you 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 want to be with two. Men, you know, mm-hmm. if a female feels that way, then hey, by all means, go ahead and do your thing. I'm not judging anybody. You know Would you mean? be the other man? No. Why? Uh, you see how quick I answered that? I know, right? Why? <laughs> but why would you not? Like, because you see how quick I answered. She won the other foot, right? Yeah. You have two. It's right. Why she ahead. can't have two? It's what for the same what, reason. It's what I'm willing to accept, and it's what whatever she's willing to accept. So if my if I'm with somebody and she's accepting that, then then okay, great. If I'm not willing to accept to be with two. To you know what I mean? Why another dude and and then nah? What are you talking about? What am I talking about? <laughs> I'm talking about the same thing you just was talking about. And I'm, no, nah, I why? I want to know why. Nah, it's ter- I'm territorial. You're very territorial. Why? Yeah, because that's my. Profession. You don't control anybody. It's not really control. It's more so to my liking. It's what I. It, this is what I want in my life. I it's on loan be, to you mm-mm. for the moment. Oh. You're leasing it. No. <laughs> You're mine. You're mine. You cannot say someone is yours. That's the thing. You can't do that. You see, that's why I haven't been in love yet. <laughs> that's true. So you would you rather them not tell you? Would you rather say ignorance is bliss? Because mm. see, for me, right, mm. I don't want to know. Really? In certain situations, I don't want to know. Marry your one. It's okay. Like for me, anything you've done before me is none of my damn business. Mm-hmm. If we go to a room, you've already probably had sex with one of these women, right? Mm-hmm whatever or a past friend and they end up being friends because shit sometimes it just happens that way right y'all realize okay the physical attraction thing wears off after a while we right. all know that right and then you start to really pay attention like i don't really like this person like i thought i did i was just trying to buss them and well sex let me okay say that there you go guys that's what it means right. bussing and you'd be like it's best we just be cool but they are a cool person right to keep around and benefit from each other i don't need to know you had sex with her i don't care really I don't want to know. It's not my business. It was before me. The only thing I care about is what you're doing with me. Mm. And like you said, I'm laughing at you because you said my possession. This is mine. Mm-hmm. Da, 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 da. That's probably why I'm not in a relationship right now either. Because you right? don't want that. You don't like right? that, right? I don't, I don't want to know nothing. You don't want that. Okay. You don't want that tag, that that whole, yo, you know what? You with somebody and then they're saying that you... That's you, that's you, 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 yours. I mean, no, yours. I will say that to them. However, people don't like, uh, to be possessed. <laughs> I mean, well, like no, possession, well, like men, sure. y'all have y'all, y'all things. Right. And some men can't see past my, how can I say this? My masculinity energy mm-hmm. towards my feminine energy. Cause I can definitely tap into that, but everyone is not worth that. So for me, you have to prove to me in order to get that. It's easy for me to be masculine. I've been, 
forced mm. to be masculine my whole life. So when you got to go to the other part, that's the part that's like, oh, ah, like that. But again, I don't want to know you slept with these people. I don't care. So for me, ignorance is bliss. Okay. I'm not giving you the green light to cheat. I'll say that because if I do, we have an agreement. It all, like you said, depends on what both ones to accept and what we agree to. Yeah. I'm not saying you can cheat, but I am saying I don't want to have an inkling. I don't want to know. You better be acting like this is the best. <laughs> wow. wow. That is crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. No, seriously. I, I wouldn't want, I, I, no, there's no, I don't want nothing to be done behind my back. None can be done behind my back because at the same time, like I said, I trust you. you know mm -hmm. I mean? And 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 actually, I had a conversation earlier with my brother. I was like talking about how um, you're supposed to show you're supposed to do exactly what you're supposed to, like in front of anybody, like wh wherever you at, you mm -hmm. are a representative, right? Mm -hmm. So you better act like you are in. You know that person is with you right there. So. If do, the not acting, do the same in thing in front of me that you right. do with other groups of people. Exactly. I agree with you. I'm, I hold people to that same standard. I hold people to that same right. standard. It's so funny. But again, I don't need to know about your past mm -hmm. because we change every day. Yeah, we do. So who I'm meeting you right now is not the same person you probably was five days ago or a week ago. I'm just throwing numbers out there, right? I don't need to know these things. I don't mm -hmm. care if you slept with somebody on your job. I don't care. Some information I don't need to know because I know me. I overthink things. I'll start paying attention to stuff that ain't even there, but I'll be seeing it in my mind because I know that, right? Which cuts off a possibility of a good relationship or a business opportunity or something different. Mm -hmm. And who am I to say that these people aren't your friend mm -hmm. prior, even though you may have slept with them? I know when people first meet people, they attracted to people. That's just life. But don't tell me. Mm -hmm. Don't tell me. I mean that that could hurt or help you at the same time. Mm -hmm. So would you want to know? Like if some if I'm messing with somebody and she slept with somebody in the, in a, at a job or anything like that. Like um, in a group, just in a, in a group? group setting, her friends introduce you. Know how you meet people and hey, we're all going to so and so house to play bones today. You know mm -hmm. something like that. And a guy that she used to mess with, but it still is her friend. But they don't mess with each other no more. She just want to tell you, like I should just tell you that we did have a thing, like that right there <laughs> like do you really really want to know that or is it just your male ego that wants to know that you know what i'm saying i, I think it's the ego that wants to know like i really wouldn't care at mm -hmm. the at the end of the day um but at the same time i kind of would want to know just to just to because it you know what it's going to come out whatever's in the dark is going to come to the light anyway so if you act a certain way i am going to pick that up mm -hmm. and then if i ask you a question uh, you know you better answer it honestly yeah that's you know what i'm saying see that's but, understandable you're asking mm, yeah. what i'm saying is you want somebody just to, to volunteer uh, information that don't need don't, especially if ain't nothing going on no 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 exactly that's how i feel no what you, now, now I'm here. I'm yeah. uncomfortable. I don't mm -hmm. want to be here. Now. Yeah. Now I don't want to be here. Like I said, we start thinking stuff, mm -hmm. and then we start seeing shit that probably ain't even going over because she laughed a little too hard at his joke. But you laughing that hard at his joke for you know? <laughs> it, it leads to some. It, it leads to you know. It leads to that, and then now there's a conversation. I'm telling you now. You need you can't be friends with this person. Yeah. Anymore, right. So now I'm giving you ultimatums, mm -hmm. which I don't like ultimatums. Oh. Right. You don't want nobody giving you an ultimatum. Absolutely not. Okay. Absolutely not. I'm not adjusting. I don't believe in compromise. I say that all the time. Okay. I believe in you teaching me something and looking at something through a different lens, but I do not believe in altering my happiness mm -hmm. just because I'm going to meet you where you at and you're going to meet me where I'm at and we're going to move forward. Okay. That's how I feel. Hey, hey like. listen. <laughs> <laughs> You're saying the same thing I, I'm saying. So I, that's I what you be saying to people. I mean, well, I don't say anything really. I'm a, I'm an mm -hmm. observer. I just watch and see see what it is. Like we, we're gonna have conversations and and through your answers, mm -hmm. if your answers your your words don't match your actions, then we we have a problem. You know what I'm saying? So I, I'm I'm more like, listen, I don't need to I tell you have anything. To cl oh you know what I'm saying? my so gosh! Let, let you do whatever you gotta do. Uh -huh. We're gonna talk. Mm -hmm. We're gonna have a conversation, and then. I'm not I'm gonna it. Yeah, it's not really too much of saying like, oh, let, you know, let me sit back and watch this person. It's just more so you, you it, whatever is gonna happen is gonna happen. So whatever's in the dark is gonna come to the light. I'm, I'm gonna see if you really about what you said. Exactly. For Period. me, I'm the type of person. I was having a conversation with someone. I'm not gonna say mm -hmm. who I was having a conversation with, but 
we were talking about actions matching words, mm-hmm. right? And they were like, which one would you rather have, A or B? And I said, neither by itself. It has to be together. Mm. I want both. If you don't give me both, then there's no point. Right. Because, again, that's that gray area. I don't like gray area, but then I do like gray area. Yeah. Because if it's gray area going on, I can figure out a way to flip it so it could be my way. Gotcha. Right? But then there's that gray area. Say we together, this was the example I used. We're always doing boyfriend, girlfriend-ish stuff. But we've never had the conversation that we're boyfriend and girlfriend. And I take you to a little outing and my friends, and I'd be like, well, this is my boyfriend, G. And da 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 Your eyes going to get big she, as hell yeah, first, right? Like, you're like, you right there. <laughs> what are you talking about? You're like, what are you talking about? But, <laughs> if, but for sake of not embarrassing me, you'll be all right, whatever, whatever. You might pull me to the side be like, yo. yo. Or on the ride home. Mm. So when did I become your boyfriend? Yeah. Right? And I come back to you and I say, well, we always together and we do everything like a relationship, like blah, blah, blah. Yeah. And you'd be like, but I still did not say yeah, we didn't say we're together, enough. right? Yeah, well. So for me, if we ain't say it, it mm. ain't it. Mm. I, don't give, I don't care what we acting like. Well, it depends on who, which G you get for that moment because as soon as you say it, I'm going to be like, nah, we ain't. Nah, why are you, you lying, about? right? <laughs> <laughs> the fuck you talking about? So that's why I try to tell people, I don't care if someone could be acting every single thing. That does not mean what you have it made up in your mind. So that's a part of what? Conversations and comprehension and what we both agree on what is. Or we say, hey, we're together, but we don't do anything. We don't, we not acting like we together, right? I'm still being the most flirtatious person. I'm out here in everybody's face being a busy bee. That's my favorite word for people that's always in somebody's face Mm -hmm. is that. And then you move forward. You're like, yo, we together. Like, you need to respect me. You my lady, and why are you doing this? Because it's a standard. It is a standard. People say it's not a standard, but it's a standard when you're in a relationship. How would you feel if the shoe was on the other foot? Like, y'all agree, but person not delivering. Yeah, yeah no, of course. that I can't mess with anybody like that. I can't exactly. Fuck with, you know what I mean? I can't mess with anybody like that. It's just everything got to be set, set in stone in, in order for us to move on. You get what I'm saying? So... I'm so glad it's like-minded people out here like me because let me tell you something. That <laughs> Why ain't nobody it like is that? so hard to have this conversation with people, even with Pe- females. No, people, people front or people just not. Uh, they oblivious to certain things. That's what mm-hmm. it is, to be honest. With you. People be fronting those. They know exactly what they, how they supposed to act, or exactly what needs to be done in order for a relationship to go on. But they want to press those buttons. Yeah, you know what I mean, I, I don't think you know anybody. If it goes that way, it's not. I, some females will say it's boring. So, Mm -hmm. you know what I mean? So certain things have to happen in order for the relationship to, you know what I mean? You spice it up a little bit. So that's Mm -hmm. why people will say certain things. But you're right. A lot of people don't think the same way. Not at all. Not at all. So as far as love, right? Going Mm -hmm. back to love and being in love. Mm -hmm. What is the main thing that's stopping you? Do you think it's a fear? Mm -hmm. Do you think it's a fear that you have? Or... You just don't feel like you're ready. Uh, no, nah, beyond <laughs> <laughs> for what I told I, you, I was gonna yeah, ask you. <laughs> I, listen, <laughs> uh, it's 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 nothing with fear. It's because I welcome it. I want it to be honest. You do? Yeah, I do. I uh, definitely, definitely want to be in love one time. One time for one time. You know I mean? <laughs> Spin that back real quick. Now, nah, uh-huh. um, nah, it's it's not fear. It's more so. Uh, I just I haven't gotten that feeling. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. It, it hasn't been there. You get what I'm saying? And probably so, I, I do close myself a little bit in, you know what I'm saying? Because I just don't, I got to really know, you know what I mean, who you are and what your agenda is. And gen, everything got to be genuine for me. You get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So if it ain't genuine, I ain't, I ain't going to fuck with it. So you, you pay attention saying? to energy. I pay, I pay attention to energy. I pay attention to, to, to the things you say, you do. Mm-hmm. Um, it's a whole lot of, you know what I mean? It's a whole lot that, that comes with it, you know what I mean? But um, uh, we could we could chill. We could, we, I'll fucks with you, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? But as far as falling in love, um, I don't know if there's anybody out there. That's, that's a challenge, as a matter of fact. What? Oh, yeah. You don't think it's anybody? Oh, Look at the camera oh, yeah. tell them oh, what yeah. you just I, said. Listen, I don't think anybody over there at, at, that's out there that I can fall in love with. Whoa, Whoa. that is a challenge, ladies and Whoa. ladies, ladies, ladies. Please, who is he? Yeah, they don't like who the fuck he is, right? <laughs> then you can just say, "Ain't nobody, <laughs> ain't nobody." Come on now, nah, nah. It's there, somebody, somebody out there. Of there. Yeah, course, there's yeah. plenty out there. To be honest with you, I think it's you. I think you're in your own way. Yeah, I'm stuck. And I don't think that you're me. putting that energy into it, right? Because no. what we put out is what we attract. Yeah, that's true. So again, 
you busy grinding, finding yourself. You're on this journey. Like I said, we're always is. And the easiest way to get it misconstrued is get caught up in everything else. But some of the things like, yeah, I want it. However, am I willing to work to get it? Right. Am Be I doing steps to take exactly. order? Exactly. I'm, I'm definitely ain't doing that. See, that's sure. what I'm saying. You're not ready for it. So I think it's, it's just, you. I think you probably came across someone that you could possibly fall in love with, but because you're not there in mm. that headspace, I think you're the issue. Am I wrong? Fuck love. Let's get money. Ain't no fuck love. Get money. We're going to get both. We're going to get both. Because nah, I welcome it. I the welcome person it. you're yeah. with, you welcome it, but again, mm. Are you doing the necessary steps to welcome it? No, I'm not. I'm not. Um, I, there's certain things I feel Pretty like I'm good. Yeah, ain't you know, yeah, 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 you good. You spun, you spun it right back around. Be honest with you. She is. She knows what she doing for real. Uh, listen, it, it, if it happens, it happens. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm open to it. But for me, for me, I need to find me first. You know what I'm saying? Okay. I need. To, I, there's certain things That's I need important. to be. You know what I'm saying? There's certain things that needs to be done in order for me to be open to because I don't. I don't think I can give anybody like the full. For you. me, you get what I'm saying? Uh -huh. You know what I mean? And there's certain things I need to be happy, you know, me with. And I just don't think I'm there yet. And this you know is where I'm going to throw your monkey wrench in and your plan, right? Uh -huh. Have you read the book, The Way of the Superior Man? No, I haven't. It's an awesome book. Um, I could send it. I actually have it home, but it's really? kind of like highlighted and stuff and no. written. Let me get so it. So you might not it. want to get it. But <laughs> mm -hmm. he says in his chapter, and it may be chapter two or three, that a man will put off being married or put off being things because they feel like I have to have this, I have to have that, I have to have this in order to be that man for that woman mm -hmm. instead of realizing that you can grow with that woman so you will be that man for that woman because it's always going to be something. Something is always not going to be right. Mm -hmm. But if you're good internally, everything externally, you will grow to get. And the right woman you're going to attract. The book is awesome. So it made me understand men from a different thing. Mm -hmm. I'm really big on like psychology yeah. and brains. I'm really a nerd. But mm -hmm. those things right there. So I just want to challenge you to say, is it where you think you fall short as a man? Or is it mm -hmm. the emotional barrier that comes with it that's stopping you? It could be. It's definitely not as far as falling short as a man. Um, I know who I am. Um, mm -hmm. it's, it's nothing as far as possessions as well too like oh yo i need a lot of money in order for me to it's 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 nothing it, it is definitely emotional it's the emotional it's me mental and emotional i'm pretty you know dang. And, and and yeah i, <laughs> <laughs> I gotta keep saying it yeah, just, <laughs> because we talk right okay. we talk we talk we talk yeah but however i knew you was gonna say emotional yeah. i just knew you were going to say that <laughs> i just knew you were but you thank you for now? being you, you psychic maybe oh, shit. um I knew you were going to say that, okay. and I just want to just say thank you for being vulnerable enough to say that, right? Because yeah. some men will skip the question or not being open enough to understand that this is where I fall short. And I know I'm fucked up. <laughs> so I'm not about to take these emotions and stuff going on into another relationship or in love with someone, and now my traumas are showing that I'm not working on. I'm ready, though. You ready? I'm ready. 2023? We can't get it 2022? <laughs> nah, I think we got a couple more sessions that okay. we need to get in. Yeah, okay, 20, sign all right. up. <laughs> all right, cool, 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 cool. I, I think you. that you should do that. Yeah. But as far as love, what's some advice would you want to give someone? Um, as far as love, mm -hmm. shit, I've never been in love. But uh, once again, uh, let's see here. What what advice? Are, just listen. Just work on yourself. Be who you are. And then let everything else fall into place. To be honest with you, I ain't, ain't nothing much. That's the best. Be that's the best advice. That's do, the best advice you can what, give. Yeah, do what you got to do for yourself. And once you're in love with yourself, you everything else will fall into place. You know what I'm saying? So I, I don't really, I don't think it's that. You can't beat that. Mm -hmm. to be honest with you. You know what I mean? It's just every. It's just you attract whatever. Like you said, if you love yourself, you attract everything else that that else that belongs to you. And stop letting everything else get in your way, right. so you can see that yeah. you did attract it. And I just also want to thank you again for being open and vulnerable to talk and be on the journey of a soul sister. Honestly, uh, to really yeah. have these conversations, it's, right? Because it's really healthy for us to have. 
it's therapeutic. Yeah, this, mm-hmm. is, nah, this is dope. You, you know what you're doing. <laughs> I give you that. Thank you. you know Could saying? you give out your Instagram handles again for everyone? Instagram handles G Lives G L Y V E S. Okay, right here. Right ah, here. anyway, okay. <laughs> G L Y V E S official. G Lives official. Music Life and Love guest co-host of uh, Music Life and Love podcast. Um, one half of Music Life and Love guest um, podcast um, host. <laughs> MLL podcast on on Instagram, on YouTube, Music Life and Love podcast, TikTok, Music Life and Love, Twitter, all of that. You know what I'm saying? Oh, and even Spotify, Apple, all Apple, streaming Apple, Apple, platforms at you know this what I'm point. Saying? Everything, everything. You gonna put Music Life and Love? We are there. You know what I'm saying? You and it's a bro- dope show. You gonna see my brother um, Soto up in there? You know what I'm saying? You gonna see your tr- yours truly, Gillionaire? You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm glad I'm here. I'm glad I'm, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Know what I'm saying? Thank I appreciate you. you. I, I ain't know exactly what I was going to talk about. But I ain't going to tell you. You, 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 <laughs> you pulled it out. Okay. Close. I got There's it. No pause, I guess. I don't know. There's no pause. <laughs> it's all right. It's all right. And thank you again. Mm-hmm. So you guys, like I said, this has been another journey with someone who wasn't afraid to go there to let you know their insecurities as far as love and emotions, where they stand from and how it's okay to take a new change. Like I said, and I will always continue to say, it is not where you come from, but it's about where you're going and where you want to be. So this has been another episode of the Journey of a Soul Sister. Thank you. Peace. This is a Anything Goes podcast production.